Welcome to the most boring country in the world. Only here for 24 hours. It's obviously, as you can tell, Brunei. But when I told my cab driver I was here for 24 hours, he said, that's actually more than enough time. So what you're seeing now is the main tourist attractions that everybody's probably seen when you search on Brunei on Google. But I'm going to show you what the city is really like outside of these lovely framed pictures. This right here is the downtown. It's literally two blocks. These two blocks that you can see right here. And then just past it is the mosque, the very famous mosque, which shows up when you search Brunei. This is the waterfront on a lively Saturday afternoon. As you can tell, pretty much nobody here. There's 400,000 people in the entire country, 100,000 people in the capital city. As you can tell, on this weekend afternoon, completely empty main roads right in the city center. This is directly across from the mosque. This is the airport in the middle of a Sunday afternoon, as you can tell. The least crowded airport you've ever seen in your life. But again, once you hit the mosque, there's really nothing else to do in the entire country besides go around. I mean, the nightlife is all right, as you can see here. Pretty uh, popping by Brunei standards. Got some street food, cocoa berry. Or you can walk around by the, uh, the mosque again, which is the only real tourist attraction. See those lovely public infrastructures that they spend billions of dollars on. Very rich royal family. The people actually love them quite a lot. They're very generous. They built up quite a lot of huge and very pristine buildings in the city center. But the uh, real highlight of the city, in my opinion, after the beautiful Sunday used clothing market, is the fishing village on the other side of the waterfront where the average people of Brunei live. People who are not rich enough to live in the pristine city center. And you'll see what it looks like right here for many citizens in the country. And this is the fishing area, which is probably the more authentic version of Brunei. I'm sure most of the locals can't afford to live in those giant, pristine buildings they got over the other side. But you can live in one of these huts and go fishing. Let's see what we got out here. Nice little footbridge. Some nice interior design. Satellite TV. Got all the perks of modern living. Public transport. Private public transport. Look at that. I love third world safety standards. No more of this American pussification of guardrails. I want to be able to fall into shit infested rivers if I want to. That's what real capitalism is. Beautiful. You can even see the giant storm clouds coming in. So let's try to get a little quicker view of the fishing village out here. So they say this is one of the biggest tourist attractions in downtown Brunei. I guess so. I mean, it's just pretty much where the people live, the average people. So I wouldn't really call it a tourist attraction, but there's really not that much else to do in the country. So let's go see how they live, make some friends, catch some fish, 